If there's one constant in the auto industry, it's change. In 1992, the dealership where I worked had a lease penetration of almost 85% on new vehicles. And I have to tell you, moving people from one leased vehicle into another was both easy and profitable. When gas prices went through the roof in 2008 and 2009, do you remember what happened to leasing? Residual values, especially on profitable full-size vehicles, took a dive and several manufacturers claimed they were doing away with leasing forever. Yet I stand here today telling you to quote a lease figure on every new vehicle? Hmm. Well, this is going to be good. I'm John Quaddy, The 5-Minute Coach. In 2009, I wrote an article bashing the OEMs that claimed they were going to eliminate leasing because their captive finance arms took a financial bath on some vehicles whose residual values went down largely because of high gas prices. Here's a rough quote from the Post. Apparently, several manufacturers didn't understand their exposure on a closed-end contract, so now they want to reshuffle the deck. Good luck writing mortgages on $75,000 vehicles with no lease option. Hey, as much as I hate to say it, I was right. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't hate to say it. Less than six months later, leasing magically returned because it's pretty tough to justify financing any new vehicle for 120 months to make payments affordable. All right, enough of the history lesson, but it's important to set the stage for why leasing has taken such a dive in popularity, especially given that it continues to be a great option for many consumers. Currently, new vehicle lease, lease penetration in the U.S. sits at just over 24% which is a little strange to me given all the advantages to leasing for both the dealership and the customer. Take a look. First, lower payments. A more nicely equipped vehicle for a lower monthly outlay. And shorter terms, which means a faster turnaround for both parties. Next, full warranty. Fewer unexpected expenses makes everyone happy. Well, everyone except fix ops. Next, updated safety features. Better fuel economy, happier customers, you get the idea. Okay, next let's look at some ramifications of the 24% penetration rate. We'll break these down into many customers and some customers. So, many customers. Don't shop for lease figures, period. Many customers are never presented with a lease option. And many customers do not understand vehicle leasing at all. Now the some customers part. Some customers leave without consummating a sale because the payments were too high. Some customers would pay more profit on a lease than a retail sale. And some customers would lease if they were exposed to a lease option. Now look, I know these are anecdotal observations, but they ring true to anyone who's been in the business for any length of time. So what does all of that mean to you? A couple of key points. First, if you're the first dealer that presents a lease figure to a shopper, you have the best shot to close the sale that day. If customers haven't shopped leases, they won't have a point of comparison or a point of reference to your lease figures. Number two, I look at leasing very similarly, similarly to how I look at appointments. The best way to get one is to ask. Out of the 76% of consumers who do not lease new vehicles, my guess is very few of them ever actually received a lease option. So if you want to increase lease penetration to its highest possible level, and you do, you need to offer a lease option with every new vehicle price quote. Three, presentation is everything. 
I learned a lease presentation years ago that to this day is my absolute favorite because it's so easy and effective, especially with customers who didn't want or ask for a lease option in the first place. Here's how it goes. Jim, as you can see, the market price of your new truck is $36,370, and that works out to payments of $742 for 48 months or $599 for 60 months. Oh, and I'm sorry, just ignore this one on the bottom left. That's the lease, and my manager automatically includes that in the quote. Those other ones are the two you asked for. Now, I'll confess, after delivering that more than 100 times, my biggest challenge is not grinning during the presentation. And it's not a trick or a game. I've leased no fewer than eight vehicles myself. The point is, most shoppers aren't even aware of how leasing works, and much less how it can lower their payments and down payments. Now look, if you're anti-leasing for some reason, no worries. I appreciate you being open-minded enough to take this course. Leasing is not for everyone. But my contention is that it's for a lot more people than the current penetration numbers indicate. So if you see some growth potential for your dealership, give it a go. Lastly, some captive finance arms may not offer competitive residuals these days, which is frankly a little ridiculous to me, but I digress. There are some strong alternative lessors out there, so do some digging to increase your opportunities. All right, let's take a quick look at our KLPs, or key learning points, for this course. First, number one, the U.S. automotive lease penetration rate is about 24%, which leaves room for improvement. Number two, remember the benefits to leasing. Lower payments, lower down payments, shorter term, full warranty, and, oh, happier customers. Number three, most new vehicle consumers don't lease because they're not offered a lease option. Number four, include a lease option with every new vehicle price quote. Number five, have sales consultants practice their lease versus retail price presentation. And that is our action-packed episode of the 5-Minute Coach. I'm John Quattie.